A while back, my brother sent me a blog about 4G community internet. It's an internet that uses a reserve space for nonprofits and um, NGO use of the internet on the wireless spectrum. Um, 4G actually uses Sprint's infrastructure to handle internet. And the prices looked really cheap. Uh, the quality, stated quality, didn't look too bad. The speeds didn't look too bad at all. So it seemed a little too good to be true. But since I was about to move and and um, was going to have to change internet anyway, decided to check it out. So I got the what their you know their premium hotspot, which is basically just a Sprint Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, gets pretty good speeds actually. Uh, when I first got it, um, and this wasn't something that's regular, you know, my first uh, speed test on it, I got like 50 meg download speeds, and uh, not surprisingly, that didn't continue consistently. But at least when I first got it out of the box, I was like, "Wow, this is actually might be the you know it might be great." Um, but no, normally, I mean, the speeds are more around 10 megs download, 6 megs upload speed. Um, but to enhance it, I'm in an apartment, obviously, as you can tell, and cell phone signals aren't great. I'm in an urban area. Uh, I decided to set up a passive uh, antenna setup. And I'll go over it and then some of the costs as well of each of the pieces. This is all used equipment from eBay, so it wasn't ridiculously expensive. Some of it's actually not even designed for antenna setup, but it served purpose anyway. Um, so here at the top... It's a Wilson Electronics highly directional antenna. It's wide spectrum. Um, goes from the uh, uh, lower bands, lower cell phone bands, all the way through the Wi-Fi bands. Um, although, I mean, I don't need all all that range. But uh, important, most importantly, it is highly directional. So instead of having an omnidirectional signal that's sending signals. Or, or catching signals from back in the apartment that have no use to me. This I can point it directly at the cell phone tower, which you might not be able to perceive, but it's between those two buildings, or maybe half a mile behind those two buildings is uh, uh, my nearest strong signal tower. So normally, if I didn't have the ability to focus on it, I would just be sending signal all over the place, and I might, you know, I get a decent signal, but it's not consistent. It's not. Um, it's it's not optimized. Um, it's being it's stood up. This is actually a camera tripod. It's very very sturdy. Also used. It's adjustable. Um, I can move it up and down. There's various uh, adjustments here that allow me to to move it around. And most importantly, it allows me to set into position the directional antenna. Uh, not too expensive. Again, used on eBay. Thirty bucks. So. Didn't break the bank there. Uh, this is where things really got crazy for me. Um, I just didn't seem to be able to figure out what the right connection for this was, especially because I tried different antenna setups. As you can see, originally I tried connecting a wall bracket antenna, and then ultimately we got down to this. The reason was because, you know, since this is a passive setup, there's not much signal to work with to begin with. So something like this wall-mounted antenna is great if you're going to have a signal booster, which I've decided not to do because I don't have to you know, register my setup with the FCC and go through all that hassle. And plus signal boosters, um, you know, they might be great for me, but they might mess up things for the rest of the area. Um, one way of putting it, it's, almost just like, it's like being in a loud room and having a megaphone to talk to the person in front of you. you know, it's, it's great for you too, but not for anybody else. Um, so basically, this connects to a passive antenna adapter, which goes on the back of the uh, back of the device here. Uh, why do I require this adapter instead of just being able to plug into the device? Well, because unfortunately, this device doesn't have any plugins for antennas, as you know, a lot of older cell phones or even some. Wireless hotspots still do have the day. So this passive antenna fills that gap. It's not as good as being able to plug it in. The advertised rating is only about half as good as what you would get on, on a more traditional setup. But otherwise it's good. I mean, no crazy. I mean, you know, am I seeing a huge uh, 
a huge gain in, in signal strength? No, not really. Um, it's pretty marginal, maybe a couple decibels. But you got to remember, I mean, it is a log scale. So even if you can get three decibels of, of gain, I mean, that's, that's doubling your signal strength. What I am seeing um, is a more consistent signal at this point. So I'm still seeing about 11 megabytes down speed and my up speed is still around 6-7 megabytes, which is decent for my needs. Uh, but the ping times are a little faster. Um, they're, they're around 50 milliseconds, which is not awesome, but it was a bit slower before. Um, and it just seems more consistent. So, yep, this is 4G community internet. Um, dirt cheap, but serves my needs. And, yep, it can be used in an apartment. And, obviously, if you live in a detached house and you can put this on the roof, well, even better. Uh, feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. And thanks for your, for your day. Bye-bye.